Hi and welcome to part 7 of how to paint your bass guitar. This is the final episode of the series. I'm so, so excited to show everyone the end result. Now we're going to start waxing and the very first product I'm going to be using is by Meguiar's. It's called Ultimate Compound. The final thing we'll need is a hand drill and this is to help spread around the wax so it's like nice and even. It saves a lot of time rather than doing it all by hand. As I'm using the wax, first I'm going to put some on the base and I'm going to be spreading it around. And So my hand drill kind of died on me, the battery that is, which kind of sucked because I had to do the rest by hand. I only used the hand drill for maybe a minute, maybe not even, before it died on me. So for those of you who do not have a hand drill, then as you can see it's possible to just do it by hand. It's a lot more work, but it is possible and you don't actually need the hand drill. You would only use it to speed up the process. And also if you do use a hand drill, do not rub in the wax too much start by hovering the hand drill over the wax. It's to spread it around, it's not really to rub it in. If you do do that, you can actually damage it. I've experienced that before with my first base, so be careful when you're using the hand drill. I'll be using my hands for the rest of the waxing, which is okay, it's, as I said, it's not a big deal, but anyway. The second product I'm going to be using is also by Meguiar's and it's called Scratch X final product I'm going to be using is Mother's California Gold Brazilian Canaba.
Afterwards, eventually, the very final step is actually just putting everything back onto the base. And there we have it, my brand new base, or kind of anyways, my freshly painted base. Guys, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm so excited to start using this for my upcoming covers. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you all.